Good morning everybody. I've decided to do an audio commentary on why I believe there were two shots in this particular round in the most recent showdown uh, that were rigged. And uh, we're going to start with the first one. Uh, both of these rigged shots occurred in the same round. And the first one, as you can see from the video here, I have a 75 yard uh, shot to the pin. There is barely any wind to speak of, one to three miles an hour. So in this case what I would usually do is I would add about two yards to my shot, so use about 77, maybe 78 yards of power. A touch of backspin to get the ball to drop and stop on the green so that it doesn't roll away too far. And uh, yeah, hopefully that would land me very close to the pin and set me up for an easy birdie. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to push play and watch what happens. All right, so I've aimed a fraction left of the pin just to allow that slight, slight wind to bring the ball back to the right. You'll notice the elevation is only one foot, so that really makes very, very little difference in terms of the actual distance that the ball will travel. I've added a touch of backspin, just dropped it slightly from the default position, just because I know my experience uh, allows me to determine that the ball is just going to drop and stop. It doesn't really roll. Shouldn't really roll. Alright, we'll continue. I've taken the power to about 97%, as you can see over here. Not a full 80 yards because the shot is not a full 80 yards. And uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've worked out that I want to use roughly 77 to 78 yards of power, land the ball a fraction behind the pin, and usually it spins back just a little bit. But drop and stop should put me within three feet of the pin. Let's continue. I've missed the ding only fractionally on the left over there which would, yes, it would make the ball go a little bit left, but not a lot. And as you can see now the ball, the camera angle has changed. The ball is already, there's the shadow of the ball. Remember that I aimed over here somewhere. If I'm aiming over here, and I've missed the ding slightly to the left. That means the ball should probably come down over here somewhere. Still finishing very close to the hole. Instead, look how far left of the pin. I'm when I say left, I'm talking about the player perspective. Keep in mind, just remember that I've aimed over here. I've placed my original A marker in this region. I missed the ding slightly left, so that would push the shot a bit more left. No problem with that and yet the ball is well left of the flag continues to come down and here the ball is going to land so far it's carried 80 yards and uh, yeah there we can see that the shot has carried 81 yards it did spin back a bit Right, carries actually 81 yards. There was a graphical anomaly there that uh, didn't allow me to see the zero. But yeah, remember that I aimed slightly left of the flag. This is a slightly different camera angle, but I aimed left of the pin over here. And I used 77 yards of power. 97%. Of 80 yards, which is the wedge that the wedge that I used, 
If you do your math, you'll see that comes out to 77.6. We're heading into a slight wind. So how can anybody explain a shot carrying 81 yards when only 77 yards of power was used? The base distance on that wedge is 80 yards. How can 81 yards be the result of a 97% power shot? It makes no sense. Furthermore, the shot went a lot more left than what my initial A marker was. There's no reason for the shot to go left. The wind is blowing from left to right. My conclusion from that is the shot was rigged. I was never going to make the putt that followed this. Therefore, I was robbed of a birdie chance. If the shot played out as it should, and as my experience has taught me through five years of playing this game, the shot should have finished within two to three feet around the pin over here, and I would have been left with a very easy birdie putt. Instead, I'm left with this horrendous putt from 16 feet on a right to left sloping green that I was never going to make. I tried to read it that it was going to be right to left and getting close is not good enough. I decided to abort that because I wanted to just change my aim a little bit. Yeah, was never going to make the putt because the prior shot was rigged. Alright, and now we will move on to the second hole and the second shot that was rigged on this hole. Jump forward here a little bit. Alright, so my drive of the tee was exactly where I wanted it. That's a huge drive! The approach shot... Used a lot of backspin. 210 yards power into a 3 to 5 mile an hour side wind. Should carry 200 plus. It doesn't. Let's see what it does do. Two hundred and ten yards power, hundred percent marginal miss on the ding, very, very marginal. Should not affect too much in regards to how the shot plays out. Ball carries one ninety six, so that's already fell lost 14 yards of what the ball should go in total base distance of my four iron is 210 yards and the ball continues to roll about three yards three yards so I got 199 out of using 210 yards power into a almost negligible wind three to five mile and five mile an hour side wind All right that leaves us with a 10 foot putt which is very makeable. Now here's where things get interesting is from the front angle the putt looks to be right, breaking from right to left. From the reverse angle you can see that these lines are going this way and these lines are going this way. Right to left from the player perspective left to right from the player's perspective. It looks like somewhat of a snaking putt so the best thing to do in this situation would be just to aim more or less center of the hole and it should snake its way into the hole. I spent some time looking at this putt as you can see there. Let's go back a touch. Right to see the putt breaking both ways yeah it's breaking right to left there it's breaking left to right look at this angle this angle now shows the putt breaking only from right to left as you can see all these lines are going right to left just jump back there a little bit all these lines right to left right to left right to left but here the putt's breaking this way 
left to right. So I aimed pretty much center of the hole, actually right center of the hole, because I believe that it, it would still snake right to left and should finish inside the hole. It's only a fast green, so it should not affect the the actual change of direction that much. And let's push play. And keep in mind, just just remember the green over here in front where the ball is landing, it's actually going this way. It's going left to right. Look over here. These lines are indicating left to right, left to right, left to right. But when the ball gets close to the hole, it breaks right to left and misses. Now, as a result of that missed eagle opportunity, I was down by one stroke. Besides that, the result of the of the match doesn't matter that much. The score, the overall score in the showdown is what matters the most. Let's take a look at how this game finished. So I played about 73, 74 yards power for this shot and I landed pretty close to the hole. Perfect ding. No heartbeat. But as you can see, compare that shot to the wedge shot I played at the beginning of this video where I used 77 yards power for a 75 yard shot and it went about 5 yards past the hole. Compare that to this wedge shot which is a few feet from the hole. The point I'm trying to make is that I know how to calculate my wedge shots. I've always been very very good with wedge shots. It's all It all comes down to mathematics, percentages, and uh, there's no reason why that wedge shot on the first hole should have missed by that much. Anyway, so what I'm doing now is I'm putting to tie. I'm putting for a birdie. My opponent has missed his birdie. And uh, he will make par and I will make birdie. Having a good look at this putt. It's, re it's, it's going right to left, aiming at the right edge of the hole. Solid putt. And an easy, drainable putt to secure, well, to tie the match and force a playoff. Thank you for watching the video. Leave your comments below and tell me what you think. Do you think both shots were rigged? Do you think it's a bug in the game? Tell me what you think. Because I believe it's rigged. I believe some shots are intentionally messed up by the algorithm to make us make mistakes or feel like we made a mistake. I don't believe I made the mistake. I believe that the, math the mathematics was accurate. But why would, why would a shot be rigged? Why would it, would it just be a bug? Tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much.